Oh, hey there, guys. Howdy. How you doing, Anne? Well, I'm hoping uh, wherever you are in the world, maybe it's uh, sunnier than it's been here in the friggin' Northeast. It's just mind-boggling. I, uh, oof, boy, I'm telling you, it's been a pretty deep depression lately, just really because every friggin' day has been cloudy for three weeks, and the sun's been out in three weeks, maybe three, four hours, something like that. It's really bad, really, um... Concerning. So uh, even though today being uh, the uh, 8th of January 2023, the, the weatherman said it would clear up at three at 12 o'clock and now it's like two something. I'm not surprised. I'm just not surprised. So tomorrow's crap and snow. And since I'm panning over here to a picture I took of my old man, James D. McFall, cleaning the 79 Delta 88 back around 19... I think this is 89 or 90. Probably 89. I know, I remember my mom's brand new Camry was parked right in the back of that. But anyway, the reason why I'm also showing this, not just because I, I just fell in love with that car when my dad got it in 84, I was five years old, but because my dad sadly passed away on this day 17 years ago. It's right, in 2006. That's the way she goes, man. That's the way she goes. What did he die of? He died of a pneumonia. Anyway, on a positive note, I... Um, I uh, I did a lot more than I thought I was going to do, actually, uh, today when, when it comes to this right here. Uh, as you can see, if you have a good enough memory and you follow my videos long enough, I did add a couple of shelves here that my parents gave me a while back, but I didn't think I was going to be able to use them because they're shelves kind of like this, sort of like a track, so you could put, you know, like set plants or picture frames or whatever there. And but it, it wasn't wide enough for these 124, 125 inch, uh, 124, 125 uh, scale model cars that I've made. So uh, and then I realized yesterday, I'm like, wait a minute, what the WTF? Uh, why don't I just flip it around and use underneath? You see, and all I had to do is do a couple of touch ups, clean them up, right? Screwed right in, no problem. And there you go, I got the, uh, the Dodge Charger, which uh, now you see for the first time. Unless you're not on Facebook there, I posted a picture, but I did finish this recently. I was going to do a video of it outside, but again, like I said, it never was sunny. Just crappy days as usual. And this is a Fast and the Furious kit that came out in 2006. A friend of mine, Matt Sear, thanks again, buddy, gave me this model. And uh, yeah, she's got a darker green interior there. And it's funny because on the box, they say that it's a uh, freaking uh, 70, but it's not. It has the grill for the Charger from Fast and Furious, the movie, but it had the 69 grills and taillights, so it's a 69, you know. Anyway, so it doesn't have to be a big thing. I'm glad you guys see it right now. I'm very happy with the way the paint came out, a very old school uh, metallic green, I don't know, menthol type or, you know. And then you got, of course, I put the 70 Superbird I did last year. I figured that goes along well with it. There's the, the Chevy Impala that I finished also uh couple of months ago as well as the uh, Monaco and then the older Monaco I did in the 90s and then you got these guys there's the core the Mustang I did a few months ago as well there's my my beauties I'll never sell from the 90s those are some Johan kits a couple of AMT Buicks I love as well and I just I said you know what then at this point I'm like well if I'm putting all this up and I clean off these cars to put on this shelf here I might as well just clean everything up so that's what I did it took me a few hours just to clean everything off all the shelves Got the trucks, set them over here this way. Ideally, I'd like to have the trucks I got in my room here as well, too. I was thinking about maybe doing that. And as you can see, these bookcases, which had as probably as many ads as there on the top, I cleared them all off. Oh, we got to put that. That's for the, uh, the Mercury over here. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I think I'm going to put the, the two or three 118 die casts I have. I got Ed's Cadillac he gave me. I got my Mac AC Bulldog there. I'm uh, just going to film them up, and again, it's just a, I like to have it, everything as much together as possible. It would be really cool to, uh, you know, to be able to keep that all like that here in the office. Uh, as for putting all the truck models together, eh, I don't think that's going to happen, so, because then I'd have to make, you know, space there, and anyway, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. So, uh, again, as I was just talking to Ed, actually, on the phone before, I, would wish, I, I wish I could keep everything clean like this. It's just impossible. The dust comes in like crazy. This shelf, actually, I just repainted with, with acrylic paint, like artist acrylic paint, because the, the, the black on it was so dulled out, it looked terrible. It looked like it was covered in dust, you know. And then you got my older ones here I made, again, in the 90s. 
you know, El Camino there, 53 Chevy, 65 Bonneville that I made into sort of a stock car. And there's the Johan 76 Cadillac Eldorado, the Plymouth Fury, which is also a Johan. And here's also a Johan Promo 58 Oldsmobile that I found on eBay years ago. And I uh, did all the chrome and foil because there was no chrome. Yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm pretty, uh, very satisfied with that. It looks great. And again, I wish I, I was telling Ed before, I said, you know, I think it would be really cool if I was able to figure out a way to get some like uh, plexiglass, you know, because I imagine plexiglass is cheaper than glass. Glass isn't cheap anymore. And just like enclose this stuff, just enclose it all, you know, because that would be a lot cheaper than my dream of, of course, having all my models in a glass, uh, you know, case, you know, everything glass, the windows, the shelves, everything glass and so there you go. So I'll just uh, move away slowly here to sh show you some of the stuff I got on my walls here in case maybe you got your interest in some of these uh, these like vintage ads I have here, you know, or my one of my original drawings, perhaps, hmm? or one of my original large photos or smaller photos. Anyway, if you want to come down and see the collection, you're interested in something here in Montreal, let me know. I'm available pretty much any time and uh, you can reach me uh you can find me on Facebook or, of course, uh, through my email, eltonmcfall at hotmail.com, eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. And uh, thanks for, very much for watching. We'll get one last little view here of my little pride and joys there. And, uh, yeah, definitely uh, shows how a guy like me, never been married, never been interested. I sure as hell ain't a daddy and don't ever want to be a daddy. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care, stay well, and God bless.